Hello and welcome everybody, it's Mr. Slick Ninja. Without further ado, as I bring to you some Call of Duty Black Ops gameplay as I'm playing Domination on Havana. Havana is a really good map. I like it preferably. It's one of my favorites in the game and I'm pretty sure it's one of yours as well because it's Havana. But alright guys, today's video basically is going to be about me teaching you guys how to win a game of Domination. Yeah. I know, we're probably, like, looking side to side right now, clueless, like, what the hell is he talking about? Whoa, 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 are you gonna teach me how to win? What? For the win? Whoop, whoop! Yeah, I'm teaching you guys how to win. Now listen up. Alright? Because this is not a kill whore game, although I do go on a 20 kill streak. This is not gonna be about kill whoring whatnot, going for kills, going 30 and 0, going 50 and 0, getting a massive kill streak. Although I do get that 20 kill streak. Which is simply amazing. <laughs> but yeah, um, it comes. It comes to you when you play the right way. I usually don't play like this, but you know, I'm going to try to start playing like this because it's actually fun. Um, playing for the objective is freaking badass, and then, yeah, it is what it is. But alright, when you are trying to win on Domination, step one, make sure you get the right perks. There are two different types of players, a type of a player you can be in the beginning of a match. You can either decide to be in a, a, player, a player that attacks, or you can be a player that decides to defend the flag, or if so, if that's what you want to say. A player that defends the flag, no, no, the player that defends the flag is using Black Jacket. Use Black Jacket. Black Jacket is such a good perk. I mean, you're pretty much invincible. No one can freaking kill you. They throw grenades left and right. You will not blow up. When you are attacking, use Black Jacket. You are going to be capturing the flag. As you're capturing the flag, they're going to throw a grenade at you, and you will not blow up whatsoever. You will still stay alive. And then the other perks are optional. Use whatever the hell you want. Just make sure you use Flak Jacket, all right? Don't use Ghost and be a noob. Please, just, just don't. Don't do it. Don't do it! <laughs> but yeah. Notice how in the beginning, how we caught flags A and B. Now, what you want to do is go for B. I mean, B is so important. It is the most important. I can't stress it enough. Go for B, all right? Now, once you have captured both your own spawn point flag and the middle point flag, stay in between both and try to spawn trap. Now, even better, if you are in a party, that is just great. That is tremendous. Party of six? Whew, ten times better. Now listen up guys, if you guys have mics, that is, that's just awesome because you have communication and then from there on, what you guys should do, this also helps for like um, GBs or whatnot, decide before the game or usually in your clan practices or whenever, just, just decide, say we're going to get two on the left side of the map, two in the middle, two in the right. Make sure when you guys are paired up together, you aren't close so you aren't so close to each other because you will die. Really, because if somebody throws a grenade, you do not want to die in pairs. That's never what you want. You do not want your teammate to die with you. You want to be an Avenger and you want to die alone. Oh, there goes the Blackbird. Now you have the option of doing whatever the fuck you want once you have a Blackbird. Just make sure you don't go all the way in their spawn. That's really really stupid. This was a dumb decision by my teammates. As I'm gonna say right now, my teammates are stupid because later in the game they capture C and never do that. Never. Just get the middle flag and the flag that's in your spawn because if you get their flag, they're gonna spawn somewhere else. They're most likely gonna spawn from behind and then you're gonna die. And the spawn points are gonna switch up. Therefore, you wanna keep it stable during throughout the whole entire game. See how we're already winning? 69, 39. We're just killing them. Spawn trapping, playing the correct way. We're not camping. We're not using ghosts. Well, at least I'm not, alright? Now, um, I do invade their spawn point a little bit, which was a little bit of a mistake by me. But then, um, notice how I just decide to go right back out because I realize I shouldn't be doing that. And I also see another person at the corner of my eye, I guess. But yeah, just don't do that. That was a big mistake right there. Stay. Keep, keep it a distance, you know? The kills will come to you. Notice how I'm not going for the kills. I'm keeping them in their spawn. They really haven't even came out of their spawn. This is what you want to do. Two guys right here. You see me and this guy right here just going for the kills. But yet, he's so stupid and decides to go in and become a kill whore. Never do that, alright? Now, for an example I can give you guys, really, when you capture the middle flag, 
like i mean it's, it's like the heart it's like the root of the body it's the most important it's the person that controls the entire map once you do that you can move up but here's a tip if you if your teammates are up with you and you look on your map i mean looking at that mini map is very important it's you have to in, t when in terms when you're playing tactically you need to look at this T look at it take the time to look at the map and see where your teammates are at because you want to be isolated from them not isolated from that partner um, be like 10 feet away or not from them when you're in that same area when you're covering down be like 10 feet away from them or so because you don't want to die together or whatnot but yeah your other teammates make sure if they're all the way up pushing into their team spawn you might want to scoot back Therefore, if they're coming from behind, or maybe they're going to try to flank through uh, around from the back, you're going to catch one of, uh, of the opposing teammates, um, tr of the enemies, trying, um, trying to go around and kill you guys. So, make sure that you know where you're at and you know where your teammates are at. I mean, it's, it's, all, it's all a part of the game. It's really important. So, make sure you do your job. Hold down that secured area. Now, when you're playing by yourself, here, when you're playing by yourself, Make sure you hold down a spot for like a couple minutes or so. Um, don't stay there too long because they're going to know you're there. They're going to start throwing grenades. They're going to kill you with RPG and the RPGs. They're going to catch on to you, all right? So just, just don't do it, all right? Hold it down for a little bit. From there, you can move on to the middle. Once you hold down the middle, move on to the right. And just move it. Just move down from one spot to another. You know, I mean, it, it's gonna help. It's it's just it's gonna help a lot. Like I said, stay in between. Notice how I'm in the between both. I'm in between B and I'm in between A. Now this was the stupidest move of my teammates. As I said in the beginning, they didn't listen. Well, most of them didn't have mics on, so that's what happens when your teammates don't have mics. They don't listen. They do whatever the hell they want to, and they captured C. And notice how I died when I when I haven't even died. That was my first death of the game, I think. Yeah, 20 kill streak right there. The kills will come to you. Don't worry about being a kill whore. All right. So look, if you're if you if you, you're not in a party with other teammates and you see you're doing well, you're eventually your teammates are gonna catch on saying this dude is doing well. So they're gonna come by around you and see what the hell you're doing. So they're eventually gonna get the memo and start doing what you're doing. Little do they know that I taught you to not stay close to your teammates and stay away from them. If they come follow you, move around, go get another spawn point. All right, keep yourself equal distance from your teammate. If they scoot up into their spawn, like I said, scoot back. Make sure nobody flanks. You want to hold them down into their spawn. We are not camping. We're not using ghost. We are not in a corner. All right, guys. Please just listen. I mean. My last video, I did say that that was a camper, and um, I know he was defending the bomb. You guys were right. But then again, when I see somebody using ghosts and I see them camp in, hiding in a corner, I do consider that as camping, although a lot of us don't. It is what it is. Ghost hiding in a corner. Uh, you're a camper, dude. Sorry, it is what it is. But yeah, we are holding down the spot, so now they have A, same thing, stay in between, because if say you're close up to their spawn at A, as I did in the beginning, I messed up, because then somebody is, there's always going to be that one flanker, maybe he's going to flank around from the back, and get your flag, and then you're too deep into their spawn, so it's going to, it's not going to take you, um, it's not going to take you five seconds or so to get back to your spawn and kill the guy that's capturing your flag. So make sure you're in between both. You know what you're doing. Be stable. Don't worry about the kills. Make sure you've got the flags captured. And then again, we're going for the win. Don't worry about the kills. See, we're destroying them so nasty. They just, they just decide to back out. They said, you know what? I can't have this. I am done. See, that's what happens when you destroy people. This is what happens when you play the right way. Listen to all the advice I gave you. Therefore, I just want to sum it up for you guys really quick. Make sure you stay in between both your flag and the flag and the middle. Stay, keep a distance between your teammates. Not so close. If you're in a party, make sure you pair up in two. Somebody gets the middle spawn. Somebody gets the left spawn. Somebody gets the right spawn. If that's not how the map works, then figure something out, all right? It's always good to be pairs and twos. It is what it is. That's just the way it is. Life, pairs and twos. Also, when you're not in a party, make sure you're doing your job. Make sure you're holding down that spawn point. It'll be hella worth it in the end. You'll have a good KD. Don't even worry about the kill-death ratio. It'll come for you. It'll just come. Be patient. Move from one spawn point to another. Look at your mini map. Make sure you know where your distance is um, from you and your teammates. Just make sure you know where you're at between you and your teammates. All right, guys, I can't stress it enough. It's very, very important that you keep yourself distant between them.
But all right, guys, that is a wrap for the video. I do hope you take all my advice into consideration and put it into your gameplay because I did into mine, and it made a huge difference. As you see, we blew them out. We pretty much made two of their guys back out, or rather than that, we made their whole team back out, really. So, um... Yeah, I mean, if you guys really did listen to all the advice and tips I had to give you guys throughout this whole entire video, I am glad you did, because that being said, you are now just a much more better player than you were before you even saw this video. Trust me, your win-loss ratio will skyrocket. I mean, going upwards, baby. Upwards. You'll have like a buck fifty. Trust me. Listen to all these advice and tips that I have given you guys. Implement this into your gameplay, because therefore, if you don't, then your win-loss ratio will stay the same way as it is now. That being said, if you guys really did enjoy this video, go ahead and put it in your favorites. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. But hey, by all means, that's fine by me. Just go ahead and rate. By all means, just interact with this video as I'm trying to get my name out there, guys. I really do. I really would appreciate it if you guys interact with all my videos and get it out there as I am trying to get my channel out there and get myself exposed as there are only so little known commentators out there and there's a shitload of regular commentators out there that are trying to get their names out there as well as I am. So yeah, then again, guys, I really do want to thank you for tuning in, and my Twitter account and Facebook account will be in the description below, so it'll only take you guys about 10 seconds or so to follow me and or like my Facebook page. So yeah, then again, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Till next time, it is Mr. Slick Ninja, signing out. Choo!